All right, let's fire this thing up. Well, this thing is pretty ugly, but it does do the trick. It's called a fender, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fend the boat away from this dock. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again today. Take a look at the amount of fenders that I'm having to use here in order to keep both of these structures from colliding into one another. And I want to show you this piling right here. Notice that there's nothing on the outside face of it, it's just raw, untreated, pressure-treated lumber. And there are easier ways to help protect the boat. And what we're trying to protect is this thing right here. This is called the rub rail. We're also trying to protect the paint job on this particular craft. And today on Shipshape TV, what we're gonna be getting into is we're going to be showing you how to add something that's called a full-length piling bumper onto the timbers. Now, speaking of rub rail, I want to show you another one of my project boats. Come on, let's take a little walk. This is our 1984 Mako 228 project boat. And take a look at the hull to deck joint. I'm referring to this area of the craft right here. This is where the cap meets up with the hull. And notice that there isn't any type of rub rail over top of that joint. Well, that's because we removed the original one when we did the fiberglass repair on the hull. Remember that spider cracking problem that we had? Well, we've since fixed that. We've also painted the craft, and it's time to put that extra protection back on the boat. Now, we're going to be going with something called flexible rub rail here, and there's a couple of tricks that you need to know about when you're putting this material on your boat. Now, we're also going to be dealing with the porpoising problem that we're having with the vessel, as well as the bow rise problem. When we're running the boat, we don't have real good visibility. We want to bring that bow down, and we're going to be putting on something called trim tabs. Now, the particular trim tabs that we're putting on are something brand new. These aren't hydraulic, and they're not electric. These are spring actuated, and they're self-adjusting. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to test them out firsthand for you. But before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here on the water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to pool together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape.